What is going on guys? I am Laserbolt and welcome to another Gotham Knights video. Today we're going to be talking about how to unlock every transmog in the game. There is a lot of misinformation, a lot of people spreading really wrong information on how to unlock these. I'm going to tell you guys how to unlock each and every one of them. In addition to that, I'm going to explain to you how the transmog system works and how you can change the cosmetics of some items, even though there are transmog items and how all that works. So if this sounds interesting, a like would be greatly appreciated. And let's dive in and talk about how you're gonna be able to unlock some of the suits and how you're gonna be able to unlock every single transmog. So with that being said, let's dive into it. So when you guys get the game, you're gonna be able to get a suit. So if you go to your loadout, your loadout is gonna have a specific suit. And these specific suits, guys, are gonna be dropping based on the type of uh, item it is. So for example, we have here, you see under style, you see we have the Neon Noir, we also have the Night Ops, but just because you have these particular items, so we have here the Beyond style, doesn't mean that these items are gonna be unlocked via transmog or within the style. So one thing I wanna let you guys know, if you guys go to styles, you're gonna notice that whenever you guys go to colorway, there's going to be multiple colors that you're going to be able to apply to these suits. The only suits that are able to get this colors applied to are the suits which are not transmog. So your first suit that you have, the first one that shows here on screen, the 1 out of 15, that is the only suit that will be able to get the color. So I'm going to give you guys a quick tip on how to unlock these colors really fast. So the more colorful guys, this one's you're going to be able to get them from Robin. And these ones right here, you'll probably be able to get them from Nightwing, like you guys know. These right here, you're most likely going to be able to get from Red Hood. And these right here, guys, which are these right here, these color palettes, you supposedly get from Bad Girl. Now, that doesn't mean that you don't only you only get them from those characters. You could get them from just playing one main character, but that's the fastest way to actually unlock every single color palette. Just wanted to let you guys know. Now, in addition to that, you're also able to change the way the face looks. So if you want to change the uh, kind of the face mask, you'll be able to do that. You're able to change the symbols and you're able to change the gloves. You're able to change the boots, but you're only able to do that to the items which are one out of 15. Now, the transmog items are the ones that are pretty interesting because these right here, there's some of them that are very difficult to unlock and some of them that are pretty easy. I'm going to mention the ones that are more difficult a little bit further in the video, but I want to let you guys know exactly how you unlock the more simple ones like the Night Guard, the Titan, the Eternal, uh, the Year One. I'll tell you guys that's a special one. Um, the Neon Noir. Uh, the Demon's a special one as well. The Privateer is another one. The Metal uh, Beyond. Night Ops is a special one as well. Shinobi's a special one. Night Watch. Talon's a special one. And Nighthood. Okay, so first off, the Nighthood, you unlock that, guys, of course, by completing the Nighthood uh, on your character. Once you complete it, you unlock that. That's pretty easy. But now let's talk about these, uh, these real quick. Uh, let's get these out of the way, which are going to be the more interesting ones. The, so the Eternal the titan and the new guard so basically the way you unlock those guys is you will be either getting drops now you could get drops from multiple places now the best places that i found to actually get drops for these particular items is definitely doing the uh, batman caches so if you guys know when you go around the world there's going to be little uh, catches around the uh, you know the depending on what region you're in and you're going to be able to go to that uh kind of cache it's going to give you a challenge to complete do a little bit of acrobatics and luckily, you'll probably get a suit. You could also get them from enemies, and you could also get them from doing missions, just pretty much playing the story. Another way you're able to get those suits is by doing the case files. So if you guys do the case files, like the Harley Quinn one, you also do the Mr. Freeze, the Clayface, and all those, you will be getting suits, and you'll be able to know if it's in a reward you a suit because of the, uh, you know, the icon that appears that it's a suit or not. Now, with that being said, that doesn't mean that the suit is going to automatically unlock because some of the times you don't get the suit, what you do get, is the suit to be crafted so as you see here if i go to my blueprints i have a total of 51 suits i could craft so basically this is the way and what you're going to use in order to unlock all the colorways and also to unlock the suit so for example you find a suit here that is not a special suit which is i'm going to mention in a little bit you just got to craft it and that suit will automatically become unlocked for you now for example this one that says year one you won't be able to unlock the suit even though you craft it because this is tied to a specific thing so let's go ahead and tie and talk about that. So the first suit we're going to be talking about, guys, is a year one suit. The only way you're able to get this year one suit is if you guys go and collect every single Batarang found within the world. That's going to be within the challenge menu. So I think mine's already completed, so it won't be here. But if I go to the collectibles, 
uh, it, it's not here, but it'll be it'll appear for you guys if you guys have it, which will be the Batarang. The Batarang will reward you that particular style. So if you're trying to get that one, make sure you guys collect every single Batarang. Once every sing single Batarang is collected, you will be awarded the year one for every single character, for Batgirl, Robin, Knighthood, and all of them. So do keep that in mind if you want to unlock the year one one. Now, with that being said, let's move on to the next one. All right, so one of the most sought off ones that a lot of people don't know how to get is the demon one. Now, the demon one, it's very interesting the way you get this because you're going to be getting this as a craftable item. You're not going to be able to get this from just dropping in the game. Basically, what you need to do, guys, is you guys need to go to your challenges. And if you go where it says crafting, there's going to be a, uh, a kind of, I don't have it anymore, but you guys should have it. It's going to say the demon alpha needs to be crafted. Now, in order for you guys to get that, you're going to have to complete the game and you guys are going to have to do pretty much missions and it's just going to randomly drop for you guys and you just got to constantly be checking if it drops go to crafting area go to suits and just check if you have anyone that appears that says demon all you got to do is craft it and it will like for example this one if i were you know since i already have it unlocked i don't need to craft it but if you didn't have it unlocked you just craft it and that will automatically give you the suit there's a lot of misinformation on how you get this so i did want to let you guys know you only get it if you craft it if you don't craft it you won't be able to get it all right so now moving on to the next one which is going to be the uh this the privateer the metal ones all of these are going to be craftable so you just craft these or have them drop okay now we have the night ops now the uh, night ops is a very interesting one because there's a lot of misinformation on this one as well a lot of people say you could craft it a lot of people say you could pick it up no guys the only way you're able to do this is you got to complete every single cache available within the game every batman cache available in the game now this is tricky because a lot of people don't know this is the fact that just because the caches appear on the menu when you log in the first time and you collect three or four doesn't mean that those are all the caches what you need to do is you got to be going back to the belfry coming back in and then you will get another set of caches complete those caches go back to the belfry come back in complete those caches until you completed every single one of them in every district then you will be able to unlock the Night Ops outfit, okay? So that's that one right there. So you do keep in mind, this is definitely one that's sought off as well. The Shinobi one is the one that no one knows how to craft, and you're going to hear it first on this channel, and then you're going to hear everybody mention this. So I'm going to let you guys know exactly how to craft this. So in order for you guys to craft the Shinobi, this is actually earned through mods. So you got to go to the mods, and what you want to do with the mods is you want to make sure, you guys, that you infuse mods, okay? So you just got to keep infusing mods. So basically, just keep doing this. I don't know the total because I don't, re I didn't count because I didn't think that's how you unlocked it. But I kind of found this out by randomly mistake. So basically, all you got to do is just keep infusing, infusing, infusing. And then eventually, when you guys log back out to the menu, it's going to say that you guys already unlocked the gear. And then just go to your styles, and that's going to be automatically unlocked for you guys. The Shinobi is definitely one of the highest sought off items currently right now in the game. So, and no one knows how to get it. So, you heard it here first. Now we have the, the Night Watch, guys. This one you get from the Deluxe Edition. Then we have the talent. This is another one that no, not a lot of people know how to get. This one's actually pretty tricky because this is going to be part of a collectible. You're going to have to go everywhere around the map and find the talent caches. Now, I have a video that I made specially for this particular armor set because I didn't want to make this video too long, showing you guys where every cache is at. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll leave a link down below in the description and the annotations at the end screen as well so you guys can get the talent suit because it's definitely one of the coolest looking suits out there. Then we have, last but not least, guys, we have the last one, which I already explained how to get. And that is pretty much, guys, how you get every single suit in the game. So if you guys are missing a suit, let me know which one you're missing. I think I covered every single one of them and how you get them. So if there's one that you not haven't been able to unlock, let me know in the comment section down below. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking in the comment section below, Laser, how can we support the channel? Guys, if you want to show some love and support, do consider becoming part of the Bull Nation by hitting that join button down below. As an incentive, guys, you have really cool emotes we're also going to be getting a chance to play with me whenever we stream this live especially when that new challenge mode comes out we want to bring a couple of the members from the bolt nation on here to play so if you guys definitely want to do that make sure you guys consider becoming part of the bolt nation or also hop onto our discord server we want to get as many people on there as well i hope you guys are enjoying the content make sure you guys check out this video on how to unlock the talent costume also make sure you watch this video on what not to do before you ng plus a lot of great gotham knights content here in the channel and some builds coming your way so thank you guys for watching enjoy the rest of the content and i'll talk to you guys later